Good afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the Indiana Harbor departing the Duluth Ship Canal. The Indiana Harbor was built in 1979 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 1,000 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She is powered by four 3,500 horsepower 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with twin controllable pitch propellers plus a 1,500 horsepower bow and stern thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Indian Harbor has 37 hatches on her deck which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 56 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 80,900 tons, but usually carries cargoes of 64 to 68,000 tons. Above her deck is a 250 foot self unloading boom which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour. long and too short, also known as the captain salute. It is the most common of the ship salutes that are exchanged between the boat and the bridge. Above the Indiana Harbor is a 250 foot self unloading boom which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Indiana Harbor is owned and operated by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York. Today, the Indiana Harbor is leaving Superior Midwest Energy Terminal with coal. The Indiana Harbor was named in honor of the Great Lakes Port Indiana Harbor, Indiana. The Indiana Harbor was the eighth of ten vessels built by the American Steamship Company under the Merchant Marine Act of 1970. This act guaranteed government financing and tax benefits for shipping companies who modernized their fleets. In 1983, she became the first U.S. flagged Great Lakes ship to be installed with satellite communications. She has broken seven cargo records over the years, including the largest cargo in 1993, um, and the largest cargo carried through the Sioux Locks in 1998, which was 69,528 tons of iron ore pellets. She is one of 13 1,000 footers operating on the Great Lakes today.